Hello guys and welcome to TG and the Game Nerd the Shore. I talk about roleplay games and today we're gonna be playing Super Mario 64. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and showed off all of the different worlds that we could explore. And in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and get all of the castle secret stars. And so after this episode, I'll be doing the finale. And then I'm going to do an announcement video for my next Let's Play, which I'm excited for, because it's the first game of one of my favorite series of all time. So the first thing we want to do, the first secret star, is up here is a door we didn't go to. We could have gone to it in like the first episode, but I decided to put it off until now. Reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. So, it seems like there's not much to do in this room. If we jump into this main thing right here, it does nothing. If we jump into this left one, it does nothing. But if we jump into the right one specifically... Welcome to the Princess's Secret Slide. Yeah, that's what it's called. So, this one is a time-based one. You just need to get to the bottom of the slide. If you remember Cool Cool Mountain, in that one, you slid all the way to the bottom and you got a star at the end. You basically do this, but there's also an extra secret one that you can get. I believe I'll probably get it here. Yeah, if you get to the end of the slide in under 21 seconds, then you get an extra secret one. So now I'm just going to head back to get the normal one. So I'm also going to go ahead and show off a secret way that you could beat the slide. If you bounce off of this wall right here and start going backwards down the slide, bounce into this thing right here and then jump off, you can jump straight to the end of the slide. If you ground pound, you can then beat it in a very quick time. It's a strat that speedrunners use, at least the ones that go to the star anyway. There are some insane Mario 64 speedruns. Like, you could beat the game with zero stars. Here we go. So the next one we're going to get is... Right over here, this one's a pretty interesting one. If you jump into this left hole right here, you can get a 1-up. Come on. Speaking of 1-ups, uh, while I was bored, I got to 100 lives uh, by just walking in and out of the castle and like climbing up to the top of the roof and getting the three ones there as well as one in a tree. And I just did that over and over and got 100 lives. But then there's some sort of audio thing that happened and I had to reset. Anyways. This is the Secret Aquarium. It's got the Jolly Roger Bay music. This is just a red coin mission, so I'll go ahead and use this time to just let you listen to the music. And that's red coin number eight. Sorry if I don't have a bunch of interesting commentary in these ones. It's just that these are very rapid fire, and so I don't want to, like, drag on a conversation topic too long to the point where it's like, I show, like, all the bits while I'm walking in between the stars. So, do you want to see the easiest stars to get in the game? So, there are three stars and they're all basically the same. To get the first one, you want to head down to the basement real quick and go back to the room with the Hazy Mazy Cave entrance. Sorry, Mips. You just want to walk in here and you want to talk to this toad. 
I don't know if I could do a toad voice. I can't. Oh, watch your hat! <laughs> if you lose it, you'll be injured easily. If you lose your cap, you'll have to find it in the course where you lost it. Holy crap, that just peaked the microphone. I might have to turn that down in post. Oh boy, it's not looking good for Peach. She's still trapped somewhere inside the walls. Please, Mario, you have to help her. Did you know that there are any enemy worlds inside the walls? Yup, it's true. Bowser's troops are there too. Oh, here, take this. I've been keeping it for you. And yeah, that's just how you get a star. You just talk to Toad. So yeah, we go ahead and save. And there are two more stars that are just like this. I'll go ahead and show you how to get it. So the second Toad star that you want to get is on the third floor. You just want to head up here. The camera always starts acting weird whenever you do that glitch. And he's somewhere around here. I believe it's this one. There are two toads. I believe it's this one over here. Thanks to the power of the stars, life is returning to the castle. Please, Mario, you have to give Bowser the boot. Here, let me tell you a little something about the castle. In the room with the mirrors, look carefully for anything that's not reflected in the mirror. And when you go to the water town, you can flood it with, with a high jump to the painting. Oh, by the way, look what I found. So it just tells you how the wet dry world painting works. We get star number 66, and the third toad is not far uh, is not far by far away. Uh, I tried to say nearby and far away at the same time. He's just right over here by TikTok Clock, in between TikTok Clock and uh, Rainbow Ride. There's something strange about that clock. As you jump inside, watch the position of the big hand. Oh, look what I found. Here, Mario, catch. Definitely the shortest bit of Toad dialogue. Wow, another power star. Mario gains more courage from the power of the castle. You want to save? You betcha. I probably shouldn't be saving, just in case this crashes. But, I don't know. So, now that we've got all three Toad Stars, the next one we want to get is up here. So this one's a bit annoying, because if you fail this, you have to go you go all the way back down to the entrance of the castle, and you have to climb your way back up. That's not the button I tried to press. I keep pressing uh, R to ground pound because I think I've been playing the Switch version too long and I'm pretty sure in that one that's how you ground pound or in some Mario game that's how you ground pound. I think in uh, 64DS is the one because L is like a thing where you center behind the camera. They really should have had that instead of this. Probably should have grabbed another hat. Oh god, this is not going to end well. I need to stop pressing R. So Christmas was recently. Fun fact, did you know that if you hold A while falling, then Mario just like gently floats down instead of falling normally? I didn't know that, but uh, while I was messing around, I found out that you could get to the very tippity top of the castle. I'll go ahead and show a video did that. Okay, now I need to find a cannon. I think there's one over here. Yep. Sorry if my commentary is not very interesting in this part because I am focusing very hard.
Ah, crud, I missed that. So Christmas was very recently, and uh, that was fun. I got, um... I got Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition for Switch, and I got the uh, PS4 Spider-Man games, so that's awesome. And I uh, got Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice, which means that I own all of the Ace Attorney games. I have the main six, Great Ace Attorney Chronicles and the two Investigation games, and uh, yeah, I believe, okay, yeah. I forgot that there was something under here, so I was scared for a bit. Wow, I was so close to that. I think the song loops three times before you run out, so... Oh, I'm so close. Okay, I'll go back here. Oh god, this won't end well. God, it's about to run out. So it's four times, I think. Actually, I want to see how, how many loops does it take. So just a little over four. Got it. I'll go ahead and cut to when I get the red coin. Okay. Overshoot it a bit. Okay, that's number seven. Where the hell is number eight? Okay. Yeah, for, um, there it is. Okay, so get that. Get coin number eight. And it's all the way up there. I was hoping it was down on that platform right here. Ground pound. so scared that entire time. So the last two stars we're gonna get is from someone we've passed by in the hall a couple of times. We want to head back down to the basement. I probably should have like re-entered the course and then hit exit course so that I appeared back down in the foyer. But you want to head down to the basement. And that's a guy over here, Mips. We've just passed him by until now. Uh, but you want to go after him. He's a pretty tough guy to catch. So you just want to basically corner him. And, and he'll go where you're not. So if you kind of get ahead of him and try to block off the sides, then he'll go where you want to go. So here's a good place to go if you want to go ahead and flip, dive, and then he should go right into your hands. Yeah, one hand me, brute. I'm late, so late. I must make haste. I think that's an Alice in Wonderland reference. The shiny thing? Mine, it's mine. Finders, keepers, losers. Late, late, late. Ouch, take it then. A gift from Bowser it was. Now let me be. I have a date. I cannot be late for tea. Yeah. 
star number 69. And weirdly enough, Mips gets another star. I believe he gets the first star once you have 15 stars, and he gets the second star once you have 50 stars. This time he's a lot faster, so no messing around. But if you just corner him and dive into him, then that should be good. No, 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 not you again. I'm in a great hurry, can't you see? I have no time to squabble over stars. Here, have it. I have never meant to hide it from you. From you. It's just that I'm in such a rush, that's it. That's all. Now I must be off. Ow, let me go. And with that, we have star number 70. And in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and take on Bowser. As this thing will say, you found 70 power stars. The mystery of the endless stairs is solved thanks to you. And is Bowser ever upset? Now, on to the final bout. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.